Greg Pickle, the bye week has come and gone. I, I chose poorly as a Cowboys fan. I was in Tampa watching that debacle, but I still had fun. I'm sure you had fun at the Eagles game. But it was it's, similarly a debacle. It's time. <laughs> it's time to refocus on Penn State football. It is time to review James Franklin's Tuesday press conference for Michigan. Uh, Penn State is a slight underdog. I believe it's down to four uh, against number 14 Michigan. It's Senior Day, noon kick, whiteout. Um, and he talked a little. Uh, he talked a couple, about a couple of key things. I thought today, um, you know, one of them being, you know, the notion of a signature win. Yep. He is now deep into his second season. I looked it up. I think Penn State to date has played has played three teams that have been ranked between last year and this year. They've lost all three to Ohio State twice. They also lost to Michigan State on Senior Day last year. Yep. But to hear James Franklin talk about it, Greg, it's not really a big deal to have a signature win. Yeah, I mean, it, it, part of that I think is probably because he doesn't have one. <laughs> part of that is because, you know, James has been pretty consistent with treating every game the same no matter yeah. who it is. And whether he does, whether the program does or not, he's kept that same consistent message publicly with the media and with fans. But then what it comes down to is uh, these are the type of games that not only help a coach's resume, right. help a program's perception, it also helps in recruiting. Yes. Um, and, and so I think that at some point, for the recruiting sake of things, Penn State is going to have to win games like this. So, you know, it, it may not, he, he may not care about the idea of a signature victory and, and really, truly, he may believe that every game's the same, but you don't get as much mileage out of a win over Rutgers at home or a win <laughs> over Indiana at home as you do as a win over Michigan at home. So it, it's big for that reason, no question about it. I think one of the keys to the game, Greg, and probably it'll be, we'll write about it and talk about it more as the uh, week unfolds, is uh, the Michigan defense isn't quite what it used to be. Yeah. Injuries have taken their toll. They were life or death to beat Indiana in Indiana, although that's not an easy place to play, but they gave up over 300 rushing yards. They had to rally to win. Uh, you know, Indiana's running back, who's a bit bigger than Saquon Barkley, yeah. went off. Saquon's got a week to kind of just recover. He, I don't, I don't think he's quite a, he wasn't quite 100% uh, down the stretch. But, you know, James Franklin was asked about Saquon Barkley, and I think, that, I think the, the question hinted at whether or not he's prepared to continue on with a heavy workload because he's probably going to need to carry the ball a lot against Michigan. Yeah, no question. And then James sort of hinted at the fact that the bye week was helpful to get, for him getting back as close to 100% as possible. But I don't think, you know, he's necessarily going to get there. I mean, it's obviously one of those things where each time he plays, he, you know, he, the time off helps him get back to a certain point, and then the game sort of regresses him back to where he was before it started. So, I mean, they're going to get what they can out of him. Uh, he's a kid that's obviously pretty right. resilient and young, so he doesn't have that much wear, tread on the tires yet. But, I mean, can he hold up for 30 carries, 28, 25 carries against probably arguably one of the uh, most physical defenses, even if it's a bit depleted right. in the Big Ten? I mean, that's, I think, really what this game comes down to, along with Penn State's offensive line. And can it be anywhere close to as good as Indiana's was? Sure. Two, two quick follow-ups to that point. Uh, Franklin talked about, he was asked about it, actually, uh, when you see Michigan uh, line up on, on Saturday, they're going to play a five-man line. They, I think they've done it all year. It's a little bit of a different look. You know, most teams are in, in, in the days of the spread. They're either in a four-man line or a three-man line. But there's going to be times where you see them, I guess, with five down linemen. And, and Franklin said Penn State's prepared for it. It's a bit of a different look. It might be. It might take that offensive line a little bit of time to figure out their blocking assignments. Uh, so we'll see about that. Also, Saquon Barkley down the stretch has come on as a pass receiver. I yeah. wonder if he'll be a factor in the game doing that. One other thing, uh, Greg, we've been talking about it. You know, James Franklin doesn't really talk about injuries. We've kind of given up trying to ask him because yeah. it's almost a waste of time. Yeah. I think it's significant, though, that they're facing a Michigan team that throws the ball a lot. Uh, they've thrown it a ton the last, uh, the last two games. And Carl Nassib, who's now a uh, semifinalist for the Burlesworth Award for the top walk-on, so that means he's, he made the cut to 10, I think. Yes. Something like that. Yep. He, we're not sure he's going to play. He didn't yeah. finish the Northwestern game, and, and Penn State's going to need to have him if, yeah. if Michigan's going to try and throw the ball around. Yeah, we noticed that, obviously, Penn State's pass rush was really hurt with him not on the field yeah. against Northwestern. There's no question about that. I think if he's on the field, they win the game. But, yeah, we don't know. I mean, you would think that the bye week would be enough to get him back on the field, but we don't know what the issue yeah. was. I mean, you know, the fact that he was sort of raring to get yeah. back in the game and they wouldn't let him, you right. know, I don't know what that indicates. But, yeah, if they're going to be in trouble, I think, if they don't have have him and, and obviously the Burlesworth side of it's a good honor for him as well. Yeah, and given the fact that it's senior day, he's a fifth year senior. Yeah. Senior, they still have another game to play. I would think 
if there's any way possible yeah. for NASA to play, he's going to be out there. So uh, just something to watch out for is, is his status. Maybe there'll be an update later in the week. But right now it's a little bit iffy, and they're going to need him against Michigan on Saturday. 